So our CEO was actually studying um, paint. He was studying thin film solar paints um, in a material science program and would have to drive up to the Bay Area to use a piece of equipment at one of the national labs. And he was driving through Salinas, so the salad bowl of the US here in California. And at the same time was listening to a podcast about food waste and food insecurity um, and was kind of shocked because clearly we're producing enough food. Um, but because of the perishability, it's not always getting to the places it needs to. And this in, incited him and some of his lab mates to really focus in on this issue of perishability and understand at the molecular level, how is food already preserving itself? Studying how, you know, when you pick an apple off a tree, it doesn't spoil immediately. It takes time. And a large part of that is because of the peel. The peel is what's holding the moisture in. It's also what is preventing oxygen from getting in and causing spoilage inside of the fruit. And it has the good stuff too. Right, and, and it tastes pretty good at the lots, same time. Lots of nutrients. Lots of nutrients. Um, and so they really started to study how is this barrier created? What is the molecular structure? Um, and what are the ingredients that are used to create this? And in doing, in doing so, designed a product that's a plant-derived coating using ingredients that are already found in every bite of fruit or vegetable that we're already eating. And this plant-derived coating gets applied to fresh fruits and vegetables after they're harvested. And it slows down the rate of water loss and oxidation, making the fruit or vegetable last two to three times longer. And this is, you know, it's imperceptibly thin, it's totally edible, um, it's safe to consume, um, it's already in the fruit or vegetable that you're consuming, but you have a lot more time. And so the idea is that it helps to reduce food waste, um, not just in consumers' homes, but in retail stores and throughout the supply chain.